Hi everyone. Today I will be talking about wipe tests in user experience inside and specifically how to set up Zoom tests. UXI wipe server tests provide information for organizations where end users rely heavily on voice or video calls, especially in current times where more and more users are having majority of their conversations through virtual meetings. Enterprises can configure UXI sensors to measure MOS scores for connection to these application servers. This provides insight into performance quality of user experience. MOS or mean opinion score is a measure of the perceived quality of voice communication over internet protocol networks. This guide to MOS values can be used to determine wipe quality. A customizable wipe server test template can be configured to calculate connection MOS scores to a user specified target host using a single TCP port. UXI sensors running this test measure latency, packet loss, and jitter for connection with the target using the given port. During each round of testing, sensors check connectivity with 20 packets on each configured TCP port. With that, we will now see how to configure Zoom test using wipe MOS template. Zoom video communication has 17 co-located data centers all over the world. From an end user perspective, the point of presence or POP you will use depend on the location you are connecting from and the availability of the application in the closest POP. Thus, to have accurate reading and the most relevant data, we recommend that you collect and examine a packet capture of clients from different regions in your organization. You will take this reading when they first connect to a Zoom meeting to identify the most common IP subnets you are usually directed to. Let's see how to do that. I will run a capture on Wireshark on my Wi-Fi interface and on the other tab, I'm starting a Zoom call from the same client. While my Zoom call is still on, I can stop the capture after a few seconds. I will filter the results by DNS and look for responses with MMR in the name like this. MMR is short for multimedia router. Once you have identified a multimedia router DNS record or its IP, you will use this in your test configuration. Now let's jump onto the UXI dashboard to configure the test. We will go to settings, service and app tests and add a test. Here we will select external as this application is external to your organization. Then custom and wipe boss. Now in the target section, I will use the MMR address which I got from Wireshark. For port, you can either select 443 or 8801 and finally click add. You can also create more than one test for the various locations your users are connecting from. Ideally, you should leave a few hours of data to get collected so that better average readings could be obtained. Once done, you can check the results over here. We can see latency, packet loss and jitter calculation here and more importantly, an average MOS score in the past 24 hours here. This can be really helpful in determining the overall perceived quality of your user's voice and video communication. Now, with that, we come to an end of this video. Hope you learned something new and see you in the next one.